principal she major and all the different things she does. And that, but, but with all that, the thing that I get a bigger kick out of than anything is just this. If you were to tell the truth, you know between the choice of seeing me and the choice of seeing baby doll, who wins? Thanks a lot. Okay, now, let me just say this, that, uh, you know, so many times when we think about what we've been through for the last 18 months with this terrible pandemic, it's been tough. You're wearing a mask every day, tough. You know, a lot of people probably that have gotten sick, tough. You maybe even know some people that we lost really tough. Now I can promise you this from the standpoint of being the governor, you know, when we started down the path together, which was about five years ago now, things were really pretty rocky in the state. And things are a lot better now. A whole lot better. Can, can we still got a lot of people out there we can still help, absolutely. And that's what we want to keep on doing. Now, all the way through this pandemic, I've read every single name, really and truly, I've read the sex, the gender, and the location, the county, and their age. Now, with all of that, you know, as, you, as you've gone through that, for right, for right at now, 5,000 people, it's been tough. It's been really tough if you really care. Because you know those people are hurting and their loved ones are really hurting. So uh, along the way, I kept looking at this little bulldog. Now my son and daughter got Kathy and I this little bulldog. This year will be two Christmases ago. Now, our, our grandson at the time was barely two years old and could just barely talk. But when they brought this little puppy out to us two years this Christmas, that little baby boy, our grandson, would walk around and say, where'd that little baby dog go? And so we named her baby dog. Now through all of that, when people look at her, it, all, it makes us all smile. And in addition to that, when you come up and see her, you'll see she loves everybody. At the end of the day, just think about what I just said. She makes you smile, and she loves everybody. Now, is that really not the message for all of us? For all of us, through any kind of level of tough stuff, if we can make others smile, and we don't care about anything, we love all people. We'll go a long ways in life, a long, long, long ways. So today, you've got three things that are pretty neat. You've got your governor here. You've got baby dog here, which is unbelievable. And the last thing is just this. You have done something that is remarkable. Remarkable when you think about it. We have competition. The State Board of Education came up with this and said they're going to give $25,000 to a school. A school that has the highest percentage vaccination rate. Well, just think. There's, all, there's hundreds and hundreds of schools throughout West Virginia, hundreds of them. And with all of that, there were 77 schools that felt like they won. And in all that, they then registered to be able to win. Along the way, we changed the amount from twenty-five dollars to $50,000 for the school. And today, I'm here to tell you, you won. And I'm going to present you with this check right here. So congratulations, Brandon Nice.
His name is Caleb Stewart. And I can remember, I think, did, did, did I talk with Caleb on Zoom at one point in time? Speak up, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. But in all of this, in our round two of Baby Dog, he was one of our scholarship winners to where he could go to any school he chose in the state. Really, it could be as much as a $100,000 scholarship winner. Now, we couldn't go to every single school or every single place that everybody was. So today, I think he's here. I think maybe his parents are here. And if they could all come up and we'll present him with a, a wonderful award if we got that.
And we got a 